Yo, what's going on? So, um, this video is called You Praise Your Street Thugs But They Can't Legally Protect You So, I did a video called A Tour Around Charlotte Um, part 50, right? So this is somewhat of a continuation Of that, but I'm not talking about Charlotte I'm talking about the, 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 the subject You know, that I just mentioned, the title Um, so I just got here. I just left this Walmart right here and they didn't have any bullets, uh, excuse me, ammunition. Um, and I've checked just about every Walmart. Now it's so bad that they don't even have 22, 22 ammo. If that's how bad it is that that people are buying up ammunition and it's no surprise that this incident happened on Wednesday, this past Wednesday, where the Boogaloo Boys and the Proud Boys and the whites, other white supremacists basically tore up the Capitol. It's no surprise that we're, we, there's no ammunition. And here we go again, where there's no ammunition and there are no guns. People can't buy guns because everybody's buying up the guns. Why? Because everybody's expecting something to happen. So right now I'm in route to I'm leaving Tiga K and um, I'm about to go to uh, the Walmart um, and I don't know what it's not Fort Mill I don't know where it's at it's it's it's, it's past Lake Wiley it's a nice Bentley so um yeah um. I'm about to check that that Walmart. My ammunition is very low. You know, I stopped going to the range because I, I don't have any ammunition. Now taking heed, um, Blackstone, I'm located in Charlotte, North Carolina. Blackstone has some ammunition, but it you have to be, you have you actually have to shoot there. So they have ammunition available if you want to shoot there. You know, and Carolina Sports has it. And the range that I go to has has some some ammo too, but it's ridiculous. It's overpriced. It's like forty something dollars. I'm not paying forty something dollars for for some ammunition. I'm not doing it. Where all I have to do is wait. So Blackstone gets their shipment in Friday and Saturday. You have to be there no later than nine forty because there's a line wrapped around the the, the 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 gun range. I got there last Saturday. I got there. At 10.05, the whole rack where they, they, they have ammunition, you know, at was gone. 9mm, gone. Gone. So the ammunition is it's, it's like scarce, man. Like this is the day and time that we're living in. I'm going to get to the point. I'm going to get to, you know, the, the whole thing about street thugs. The day and time that we're living in, man, it's it's crazy. If you don't have any type of protection, I urge you, I beg you to at least get you a shotgun. Especially if you're a minority. Especially if you're a minority. This is not the day and time to be scared of guns. You need to have at least a shotgun in your in your home to protect yourself because this is not a game they're not playing and donald trump doesn't care about anyone but himself so i urge you all if you if you don't have a gun already to at least get you a shotgun you understand so now let me get to the point street thugs are being praised these rappers they waving guns all up in the air in their videos you know you know street thugs are on some mess like uh yeah i put in that work and this and that and so forth whereas legally they can't protect you you want to know why because you cannot have a you cannot purchase or own a weapon if you have a felon if you're a felon 
if you have a felony on your record. So that means that all these street thugs that you think if a race war were to break out are going to protect you, they're not because they legally can't possess a gun. They cannot be near one. They can't, it can't, they can't even be riding in a car with a gun. And it may not even be this. So who's going to protect you? Who's going to protect you when your time in need? Now, you may say, well, they have illegal guns. Yeah, they do. I'm not going to, you know, say that they don't. But let me tell you something about guns. I know a little something about guns. I don't know a lot. Let me tell you something about guns, though. You have to clean guns. You have to take care of guns. How many thugs you know that uh, pr uh, practice proper discipline when it comes to gun safety and cleaning their guns? How many thugs you, thugs you know that's out there? Because most, most of these thugs that's running rampant out in the streets are young. So who's teaching them, who's telling them, hey, yo, you know you need to clean the gun because if you don't clean the gun, the, the gun can jam. And if you get a, if you, a, if you're getting in, if you're in a shootout and your gun jams, you're done. You're done. Who's teaching them that? Where are they getting their ammunition at? Where are they getting their ammunition from? Please tell me that. Please let me know where the thug, the street thugs are getting their ammunition from so I can get some as well. So you're done. And, and, and majority, and street thugs don't go to gun ranges. Street thug, thugs, I know, I see the videos, the rap videos. They don't even know, probably know how to handle a gun they waving it up i got i got the the sticks and i'm like yo you about to shoot your head off let me tell you let me tell you let me tell you two things if there were a race war to, to break out we would lose black people would lose i'm telling you that's the first thing and let me tell you another thing too the average street thug would lose um a a gunfight with an average dude that goes to the range. An average dude that goes, such as myself. You will lose. I'm practicing. I, I'm a member at a gun range. I practice my aim. Me and Pretty Ricky, we're about to start taking like tactical training. Like, we're going to be prepared. How many street thugs you know out there are preparing? Are prepared, excuse me. Let me tell you something about Pretty Ricky. I don't talk. I don't talk too too much about men, cause you know I'm my, my thing is women. But I'm just gonna use him for example, right? This guy, when I met him, right? Met him at this uh, several years ago. I met him at this place called TTC. TTC. It was a telemarketing uh, job, and um, you know, orient. We had orientation, so you know, we sitting in. You know, everybody has to introduce themselves and where they're from or whatever have you. So this guy. Named Pretty Ricky He gets up and he introduces himself Says he's from Brooklyn You know what I'm saying um, uh, And that you know He just got here He's been down here for a few months Blah 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 Right So I'm sitting here I'm looking at the dude I'm like This ain't your typical Brooklyn dude This guy is mild mannered He, he, he doesn't raise his voice He wears glasses Um he has a, you know, he 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 wears shoes and you know he don't wear he don't wear Tims and stuff like that. And I'm like, I don't I don't I don't see how he's from Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm stereotyping. You understand? So, you know, for some odd reason, we we wind up talking to one another. I think because I I was like, yo, you know, I was born in Brooklyn and blah 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 blah. I told my little story or whatever have you. So you know, we started talking or whatever, and we started to become good friends, right? I'm making a point here. We started to become good friends, right? So he, you know, I'm. I'm, I'm desperate for some for, for a little bit of bread And he's like, yo, I could put you on You know, and you could you, We're young, so taking heed We weren't old This is this is something that you, you all shouldn't be doing So I, he, he introduced me to the gun world Like I was going to sell guns for him Make the long story short It was a shady type thing I didn't want to be bothered with that But then we still maintain being friends, right? So This guy gets goes further in detail You know, in depth about, you know him being from pink houses and the things that he's been through and seeing it, you know, his, his, his friend shot in the head and he, him having to put the, his brain matter back into his head and just all types of gory stories, you know, him getting stabbed with a broomstick and somebody broke it off in his head and there's still chips in his head and him being shot. I'm like, what? It, it just don't add up, but it, it's real. 
It's real, right? This light skinned, half Puerto Rican, half black, curly haired dude has been through a shitload of stuff, right? But you can't tell because he's pretty Ricky. You can't tell, right? You run up on him. You may not think just because of the looks. The looks are very deceiving. You run up on Pretty Ricky, it's going to be a problem. This man don't have just one gun or two or three or four. And not only that, he is violent. He's violent. You know what he tells me? He tells me to stay dangerous. That's what he tells me. You know, you know what, you know what most of the texts are that I get from him? Guns, guns and, and how I should protect, protect myself and this, this law and that. Yo, my point in making is that average people that you don't think know anything about guns, those are the ones that's carrying them. And I'm telling you, if you run up on these dorky looking black dudes, dorky looking white kids, they will set your motherfucking ass on fire. Let me tell you something, it's true. Real thugs move in silence. And the real thugs are not your street thugs. It's your everyday CCW, man or woman, that will light you up. I'm telling you, this is a, yo, you, don't, you all, some of you all don't know the gun world. I just got introduced to it last year in, in, in like June, July. And I'm telling you, man, you don't you don't want that heat. You don't want that fire with the average dude that goes to the ranch. You just don't. I have learned go gun safety and I'm still learning. You understand? I'm still learning, man. It's a yo, let me tell you something for you for, for you uh minorities, specifically African American. Yo, it's a different world out here, man. It's a different world out here, and I'm, I'm I'm here to tell you, man. I, yo, pretty Ricky sends me every like, all everything, like all these white supremacists, these militia groups, and all of that. Let me tell you something. If we were to get in it into a race war, we would be it would be it would be over in five minutes. It'll be over in five minutes. Black people can, uh, are struggling to have a gun club. We're struggling to get that. Let me tell you something. I'm going. I'm in South Carolina right now. I'm pretty sure when I get up here to this Walmart, they ain't gonna have no bullets, no ammo. Excuse me. That's a fact. I'm in South Carolina. I I look I, I look stupid driving to this Walmart, knowing that they're not gonna have any ammunition. But I'm gonna give it a try, cause I don't know. But yeah, man, you we praising the wrong people. Your everyday gun carrying, legal gun carrying. Folks, you need to get with them because they're gonna really protect you. And guess what? When that's when 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 anybody try to run up in your house, your regular gun carrying, I, aka I go to the range every day, dudes that look dorky, they're gonna be able to stop that enemy from 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 hundreds of feet away. They not those type of dudes will be able to stop stop stop. Uh, uh, your your enemy hundreds of feet away. They don't need to get up to the door. So y'all need to stop praising these street thugs because they not yo seriously they not worth anything. They not not they not worth anything. Straight straight up. Start praising the real dorky dudes. Start praising people like Pretty Ricky because he's he's putting people on. He's telling people about about gun safety and 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 and, and, and gun ownership specifically in the in the black community. Start praising people like, like such as himself and me as well. I mean, y'all don't want to hear it coming from me because y'all think that I'm playing around or, 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 you know, this is like he fronting. I'm not doing that. When have, I, when have I ever showed you all my guns like that? Never. I mean, I'll, I'll show y'all like, oh, this is what I got. That's it. I'll be rooting. You'll never see me in no video waving my gun all in the air or whatever. That don't make sense to me. I, that just doesn't and that's whack to me for people that do that guns is not a game man once you pull that trigger and that bullet go that that, that bullet comes out it's released 
from the chamber, it's over. Whatever it hits, it's over. You can't rewind. And I think most of these kids that, that, that are out here shooting and killing each other, they truly believe that they're playing a PS3, excuse me, PS3, PS4 or 5. That they could shoot somebody and then push pause and, and reset it. No, once, once it's done, it's done. I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm not trying to scare anyone. I'm just, I'm just, I just urge you all, if you don't have a gun, at least get you a shotgun. Protect yourself. Because let me tell you something. Jesus, for all you religious people, and that's that's another thing. Oh, I'm so glad that I thought about that. Jesus is not gonna protect you. He ain't coming back. Because if 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 he come back now, he too goddamn late. Black people been through slavery. We've been, we've, we've, we've faced police brutality. Breonna Taylor's dead. Trayvon Martin is dead. He should have been came back. So if he come back now, it's too late. Thousands upon thousands, of, millions upon millions of, of, of black people have been killed throughout these years. But he's not coming back, so don't don't give me that BS about some. All, all I all I all I need is King Jesus. God is going believe in God and have faith. No, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna believe in my gun. That's who I'm gonna believe in. And that canic ain't never let me down. I love that 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 dude. I love him. He ain't never jammed on me. Matter of fact, I gotta, I gotta go home and clean him right now. That's who I believe in. I believe in Kenneth, Smith and Wesson. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Six Sawyer. I love that gun. Pretty Ricky got one. I, I, I love that gun. I shot it off, man. The, the price is, is high on that gun, yo. But I don't know. I, I forgot exactly what Six Sawyer he has. But he has one. And, and, and yo, I shot it off. Smooth, boy. Smooth. That's a smooth gun, yo beautiful it's a beautiful gun as well you know what i'm saying but I, i'm gonna get me one i don't know when because the price tag on that joint is it's up there but um yeah man you know <sighs> so i'm approaching this walmart and um i'm, I'm hoping that they they have ammunition man i just, I, I just want want some 22 ammo I, that's it you know, it's you know it's bad when they don't have that available for all you 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 people the people that have you know legal guns and, and go to the range because I know some of you all do based on the comments when I you know in the comment section when I start talking about guns. I, oh yeah, another thing too is put me on. If, if listen, I need some nine nine mm ammo. If you know where I could get some from, please let me know. Or twenty two, please let me know because they they sold out on on, on all of the websites. And trust me, you know, I don't I don't know as much as Pretty Ricky. Pretty Ricky knows a lot. And he's he's like a nerd when it comes to guns. So he he knows, you know, where to get ammo from and 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 he, you know, he's like, yo, man, ain't, it's no ammo. You just gonna have to <laughs> he told me I'm gonna have to buy a 45. Cause uh, um they have ammo for a uh, 45. But yeah, man, you know, I'm about to go in this Walmart. Uh I'll let you know in the um, comment section whether they had some ammunition or not. I would take the camera in there, but I got my daughter with me. And, um, yeah, man, I apologize, Femi, for, like, like raising my voice and cursing. I don't, I don't want her to hear that, but I, I just don't know what to say, man. Like, black people, we need to get it together, man. Yo, this, I don't know, I don't know what's, what's going to happen, you know, in, an, in the upcoming weeks. All I know is that whatever happens, I'm going to make sure I'm pre prepared for it, man. I'm not going to be a victim. And it's just that plain and simple. I have my legal right under the Constitution. I have my right to, 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 to bear arms, to protect my, my family. Me and my family, my family and I. And man, I just feel bad. Like, I, if my sister's looking at this, I, I don't want to say her name, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't know whether she wants me to put her name out there. But sis, you got you to get you some protection, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, I, we we got to protect one another. We 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 really do. Cause if something pop off, right? Like take for example, Pretty Ricky is here. So if something pop off, you know, I might have to drive to his house. He may have to drive to my house, and we gonna hold the fort down. You know what I'm saying? 
And that, that's what I'm talking about. Like, yo, if you know anybody, if you don't have a gun, you can't afford it. Uh, if you don't have a weapon, I'm sorry. If you don't have a weapon, a firearm, excuse me. If you don't have a firearm and you know someone that does, let me tell you something. If something pops off, go to that person's house so you could be protected. Other than that, man, listen, you know what they say. Never bring a knife to a gunfight. Mace ain't going to work when somebody's busting into your house with an AR-15. So, yo, yeah, man, I'm, I'm just I'm just trying to help, man. I got love for my people, man. So, I wasn't trying to yell at you all. I'm just passionate. I'm just passionate, man. I see all of these 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 white guys like they, it's noticeable. We I know I know I know when a white guy owns a gun. It's noticeable. They they carry they they have these big red trucks. They got those like those weird looking glasses that they, shades that they wear um what, what else they they got like uh tactical light boots yo i'm telling you man it, it's just it's i'm out man i i can't do it i can't do it I, i'm listen I, I just urge you all to protect yourself man for real for real i really care about you all man i just i just want i i just want to make sure i'm not doing any more videos about guns anymore um if i do it, it, um, I'll probably get pretty Ricky on here to, you know, to talk about it. Other than that, I'm done. I, I've, I've, I've begged and pleaded to you all to protect yourself. And for some, I assume that you all, you know, got out there and purchased, you know, your first firearm. You know, but while others, it's just like, okay, whatever. Like I said, and I, I'll say it again before I stop this video. Yo. God is not going to save you. Jesus ain't going to save you. You have to protect yourself. And those street thugs ain't going to save you either. You have to protect yourself. The dorky square dude. The, 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 the dude with the big nose, with the dreads that, that you think that's corny such as myself. The ones that can legally own a gun can protect you. So you are praising the wrong dude. The street dude ain't worth shit when it comes to a gunfight. The only thing they're good at doing is killing one another. That's it. They're not coming to the suburbs and holding the fort down for you. That plain and simple. My name is Langston 2092. I want you to like, comment, share, and definitely subscribe to my channel.